I'm gonna take a little road trip today. Uh, I'm gonna go up to my house in Maine, get the Bobcat. Uh, if you've noticed a lot of our other videos, uh, you haven't seen it. Uh, it's been up at my house up in Maine for probably the last three or four months. Brought it up in uh, July and uh, just had it up there, using it around the property. So uh, that's what this video is gonna be. We're gonna go up there, we're gonna pick it up. Uh, I've got a couple projects I might do up there with it. Uh, we have quite a bit of land up there, uh, 63 acres. So um, endless opportunities to play with it. <laughs> so might have some fun with it. Going up there for three or four days, uh, kind of end of the season now, so not much going on. Gonna take truck number three. Got the trailer all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, very cold this morning. I see everything's iced up. So it's be a beautiful weekend though in the 70s, which I'm not complaining about for November. So we'll get uh, get on the road in a minute. About a three, three and a half hour drive, depending on traffic. And I uh, should be up there by noontime. Let's go. Making progress, just crossed over into Maine. Took me took me a little bit longer than I wanted, but kind of left in the middle of rush hour, kind of to be expected. So uh, traffic, basically the whole state of Massachusetts was horrible. Um, it is what it is. I, I kind of asked for it leaving at eight o'clock in the morning. So, but uh, just into Maine, just going through the first toll plaza in Maine here. And I uh, got about 45 minutes left on the highway and then about another 45 minutes to an hour on the back roads. So I'm making good time, about two hours left. Gonna be about a four hour drive today. Uh, should should normally take about three on a good day without traffic, but like I said, I left in the middle of rush hour, so I kinda asked for it, <laughs> but it is what it is. Put the battery back in i was charging that for a little bit um i took the battery out when i left and brought it home with me so no one obviously could steal this um <laughs> where i haven't been up here so battery's back in let's see if she starts up yeah let's see what happens this thing hasn't been running about what two almost three months so battery's fully charged. 
Hopefully she starts up. Let's see. Awesome. All right, just gonna let the machine warm up for a little bit. Uh, it hasn't been running quite a while, so just let it run and uh, warm up. So I've got to get this machine looked at. Uh, you can't really see now, but it's been blowing smoke and overheating like crazy. I can run it for about 20 minutes and it overheats. So I really don't know what's going on with it. It's, uh, it is an older machine. It's a 1999, so I mean, it is inevitable. Things are going to start to break and wear out on it. So hopefully, hopefully it's something major, but as long as it gets us through the winter, this is just going to be our salt and our yard machine for the winter. But as long as it gets us through the winter, I'll be happy. I'm probably going to sell this thing in the spring. Or it's just going to come up here and be the farm machine for, for this property. My first order of business was to get this thing running, so that's done. Uh, it's up and running. The battery I was charging, I took it home with me and charged it, so um, just wanted to get it moving. Um, what I'm going to do now is I want to, we got a little lawn tractor. I'm going to clean up all the leaves in the, basically in front of the house here. Um, I got a bagger system that came with the tractor that we got. Um, haven't used it yet. I know it's going to take a while, but I'm going to try to suck up most of these leaves and then just dump them in the bobcat bucket and then go dump them down in the woods, so... That's my game plan for this afternoon. I'm going to crack a beer and uh, just drive around on the tractor for a bit and get all the leaves clean. Uh, this is our current tractor. It's a John Deere. Uh, I just put the bagging system on for the first time. Never tried it. Um, we have kind of a tractor graveyard around here. Um, we've got our older, oldest one right there, another one right there. Uh, we have another one down in the woods that's scrapped. This is our newest one. Um, so I'm going to try with this bagger. I know it's going to be a lot of work emptying it with the leaves. I just want to see how it works. Uh, I got myself a beer, so... Gonna swap my coffee out, put the beer in the cup holder. Take two. Time to go dump this one. That's three loads or three runs, whatever you want to call it. Got pretty much the front here started. There's just there's so many leaves. I know I'm wasting my time. I know I'm going to get comments like, why are you doing that, whatever. But I wanted to try out the bagger system. It is what it is. I don't have leaf blower or anything like that. I was going to mulch everything, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. But um, all I'm doing here is just trying the bagger system out. So keep the comments to yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna go dump this down in the woods somewhere. We'll find someone to go dump it.
those leaves kind of blow them, blow them away somewhere. Uh, so I took the bagger off. I'm just going to mulch everything and just try to blow everything against these walls just out of the way. It doesn't have to look at anything perfect. So it's tough to picture here, but there used to be a barn sitting here. This used to be all grown up. It used to be all trees, small trees, you know, about six inch, you know, they weren't big ones, but this used to be all grown up. We cleared all that out a couple of years ago, and then we worked our way this way. Um, like I said, I built a little dirt bike track over here, as you can see. And then uh, over the years, we've been just kind of making piles and uh, condensing them. And that's kind of what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of cleaning it up. Um, let me get up here, I'll show you overhead. So basically this was a big pile. There was a lot of dirt in this pile. So what I'm trying to do today is just get the dirt out of it, which I got 99% of it. I took the dirt out and I spread it out. So now it's all just kind of wood and just stuff that can be burnt. 
Same with that pile over there. We, we burnt, that used to be actually double the size. We burnt half of that last winter. And then this far pile, we just made that up. a couple months ago. We're up here, we had a mini excavator. As you can see, there's a lot of stumps over there. Um, tough to picture, but this was all, we basically went in here and just dropped all the trees and it was just a mess. It looked like a hurricane came through. So we, you know, kind of just put everything in a big pile for now. We've been actually chipping away at cutting some of the stuff out. Um, we got a fire pit, we have campfires up here all the time. So we burn a lot of stuff up here. But uh, the game plan is I'm just trying to get these into piles. We're gonna get these hopefully burnt in the next month or so once the snow comes. And then uh, the stumps over there we need to dig out. It's about 6.45 Sunday morning. We're all loaded up, got the machine on the trailer, ready to go. So